Hi dear students welcome back to ABG spoken english classes today we are going to discuss the question answers of the chapter first nutrition in plants why do you why do organisms need to take food here answer food is needed by all the organisms for many purposes the first one is the main function of food is to help is growth in growth food provides energy for movements such as running walking or raising our arms next third one food is also needed for replacement and repairing damaged parts of body food gives us resistance to fight against diseases and uh, disease and protects us from infections the question number 2 distinguish between a parasite and a saprotroph answer parasite parasite derives nutrients from living organisms the organisms on which it feeds is called the host example cascades and uh, orchids and the uh, saprotrophs they dissolve nutrients from dead or declining organisms they do not feed on a living organism example mushrooms and fungi here third one how would you test the presence of starch in leaves the presence the presence of starch in leaves it is tested in the following ways take two potted plants of the same kind keep one in the dark and the other in the sunlight for some time take one leaf from each of the plants put a few drops of iodine solution on each of the leaves the leaf kept in the sunlight will turn blue black due to the presence of starch the leaf kept in the dark will not turn blue black because of the absence of starch the next question is fourth one give a brief description of the process of synthesis of food in green plants photosynthesis is defined as the process in which the chlorophyll containing plant cells synthesize food in the form of carbohydrates using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of solar energy sources of raw materials required for photosynthesis are water is taken in from the roots of the plant and is transported to the leaves carbon dioxide from the air enters the leaves through the process force called stomata and uh, uh diffuses to the cells containing chlorophyll solar energy is used to break water into hydrogen and oxygen this hydrogen is combined with carbon dioxide to form food for the plants which is ultimately used by the animals as well thus photosynthesis can be represented by following equation here carbon dioxide water sunlight and uh, chlorophyll carbohydrates plus organic oxygen the fifth one is show with the help of the sketch that plants are the ultimate source of food all the living being depends on plants whether directly or indirectly for example the plant eater animals depend on directly depend directly on the plants but uh, carnivore depends indirectly on plants the following sketch shows some examples of plant dependency the question number here is a chart to um, understand the topic the first one is solar energy green plants herbivores and carnivores and decomposers here fill in the blanks the first fill in the blank green plants are called autotrophs since they synthesize their own food 
the food synthesized by the plants is stored as starch in photosynthesis solar energy is captured by the pigment called chlorophyll during the photosynthesis plants take in carbon dioxide and oxygen release name the following the first one is the parasitic plant which a low slender and tubular system that is called uh, that is called uh, cascute cascute here the next one a plant that has both autotrophic and uh, heterotrophic mode of nutrition feature plant venus fly trap and uh, here insectivorous plants called the pores through which leaves exchanges gases stomata tick the correct answer ambrel is an example of parasite the plant which traps and feeds on insects is feature plant match the item given column 1 with those in column 2 column 1 chlorophyll leaf nitrogen bacteria umbrella parasite animals heterotrophs and insects feature plant now make t if the statement is true and f it is false carbon dioxide is released during photosynthesis false plants which synthesize their food themselves are saprotrophs false the product of photosynthesis is not a protein true solar energy is converted into chemical energy during the photosynthesis true and choose the correct option from the following which part of the plant gets carbon dioxide from the air for photosynthesis that is called stomata plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere mainly through their leaves the last question of this lesson or chapter why do farmers grow many fruits and vegetables crops inside a large greenhouses what are the advantages to the farmers the greenhouses protects the plants inside it from the climatic conditions outside and gives plants a suitable temperature for growth and development it also protects from birds and animals the greenhouse is made up of grass glass glass is a bad conductor of heat and traps the heat inside it in it and cold places thus it provides a suitable temperature for the plants to grow it is the advantage of tire farmers so dear students please subscribe the channel if you like this video